Hi, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I want to look at an Emacs distribution called Bullshark Max. Now, this is actually my configuration, but it's an Emacs configuration for aggressive blogging. Uh, basically, you know, bull sharks are very aggressive, so I figured why not have Bullshark Max? Now, I was going to do uh, an Emacs video on Prelude. I probably will get to that, but I figured, you know what, maybe I should make my own distribution. Now, this is very early on. Um, it's mostly just me pulling packages together and, and putting them out so you could download it and use it. Uh, I have created a function. Uh, I decided to go with regular Emacs keys. I created a function just to duplicate a line real quick. Uh, here's a screenshot so far. We're going to fire it up in a moment. Uh, to install it, you're just going to, well, you want to move and back up your .emacs.d directory. And then within uh, the command line, you can run this and create a new emacs.d directory. And then to get the mode line to work right, you're going to have to run the command, all the icons install fonts. You also, as a requirement, let me see if I included that. Yeah, you need the Hermit font and it can be downloaded. Uh, if I click here and open a link in a new tab, you can download the Hermit font right here. That's the font I use. Um, it's tested on 27.1. I'm probably going to test it on 27.2. I would say it'd probably work fine on the modern ones. I'm not sure about 26 uh, at this point. But anyways, without further ado, let's fire it up. And here we go. All right, so I took dashboard, and what I did to get this uh, bull shark image here was I actually took this from Unsplash, cropped the image, and then set up uh, an Emacs package called dashboard to get this going. So let's actually look at what I did in my init.el. So I'm going to do control XD. Okay, go to my init.el. And the reason why I have a light theme is because the way I cropped it was pretty sloppily and it goes better with light themes. But anyways, uh, you know, I, I, it does include the package Doom themes, so you can download and install that. All right, so here's my init.el. Let's make this a little bit larger for you. All right, so, so far I've got the material theme. I was going to go with that. I got Doom themes, Markdown mode, because... It's an aggressive platform for blogging, so you're going to use Markdown mode, uh, JS2 mode, web mode, Emmet mode, PHP mode. I also include Monokai because I figured why not. Uh, then Dashboard, Olivetti. Need Olivetti um, because that will, if I do Olivetti mode, right, it gives you your text down the center of the screen. All right, um, we got Doom mode line. Now, let me move up this image here. In the Doom mode line, you have what type of file it is, what branch it's on, the file encoding. I also scheduled it so you have the time. I'm recording this. Uh, you're going to see this at 6.30 in the morning is when I drop it, but it's 8.30 the night before. Um, and this, when I'm in markdown mode or org mode, will actually tell me the word count, which is important for blogging. So... Uh, and then there's this one. I want to look at this one a bit more, but I went ahead and included it. It's org to blog, so you can write an org and then publish it to a WordPress post. And then yeah, snippet, which goes with Markdown mode, JS2 mode, PHP mode. I included PHP mode because you might be writing uh, your own blog and you might want to have something like a, a thing in your file, like PHP include once, header.php. Uh, so you can create one header file and include it uh, throughout all the, the blogs you write. And then if you want to change like the menu in your header file, you just change it in one file. And it's really easy. It's kind of like building your own content management system. So if you don't want to use WordPress, but you still want to go with PHP, you got PHP mode. So we have this line require package uh, and then add to list package archives. That's adding Melpa, basically telling we need to go look at Melpa for some of these packages. And this line package initialize. And then uh, we're going to get the list of the packages available. 
install the missing packages with this next code. And then we go on to settings. I included web mode because a lot of people will be doing an HTML CSS blog. They may not want to do WordPress and they just do their own code, uh, especially those who are using Emacs. And I set it up for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. Then here's some indentations. Now you can always go into the code and change this, but set at two spaces for uh, markup. Uh, ooh, I should have changed this to CSS. So the CSS is probably at four spaces. I duplicated the line. So that's an error I found, but it's very early stages. Um, and then for code, which is JavaScript and PHP. Uh, now I went with a the theme, Doom Acario Light. Again, the theme is better with the, uh, with the bull shark. Um, I'm dis disabling the scroll bar. Uh, I'm requiring dashboard, requiring all value, requiring do mode line and making sure it starts up with do mode line. Uh, and then I have some settings here, do mode line, enable word count, uh, the modal icon, check simple format, display time. Um, and then we've got right here, Welcome to Bullshark Emacs. I should probably uncapitalize the M. An aggressive Emacs blogging platform. I'm not sure if I'm going to call it Bullshark Emacs or Bullshark Max. Um, then this is where I've put the picture of the Bullshark logo. And right here I have that I'm centering the content. Uh, so down here, this is what I, I added uh, an export for Markdown, so it wrote the init file, So, and then I just pushed it up to GitHub, so you'll be able to export org mode to Markdown, which is, um, I'm doing a blog, uncritmedia.com, shameless plug, but I'm doing it with WordPress, but I'm writing my posts in Markdown, but for my latest post, I wrote it in org mode, and then exported it to Markdown and put it up, and I find uh, when I do it that way, the table of contents is done a little bit better, um, so, which I like because some of my posts are a little bit long and that helps people navigate through them. Um, and then we've got our packages here again. Okay, here's the function for the duplicate line. This is the end. So basically what I mean by interactive is what I can do is I can do Alt X and then run duplicate. And it'll actually, if I tab it, it, it now has that function because it's loaded up. I'm going to escape out of there. But... Um, and I can also bind it to a key binding, which I do right below. So we move to the beginning of the line. Um, then we kill the line, then we yank the line twice, and then we go up to the previous line. So if I do control X, X, it duplicates the line. So control X, X will duplicate the line. And I'm not sure if I got it working just quite yet. Like if I do alt five control X, X, yeah, it doesn't quite work yet where I can repeat it but that's, you know, a growth area. So um, I'll be working on that. Uh, but you, you've you got control X, X will duplicate the line real quick. Instead of doing something like control A, uh, control at, control N, uh, alt W, control Y. <laughs> so that's a little faster to do it this way. Um, so anyways. Uh, let me just fix that up and let's take a look at some, some posts here. I'll show you some of the stuff with markdown. So if I go, uh, up one, this is the dot emacs dot D directory, by the way. So we've got all this stuff that you'll get when you download from GitHub. If you want to try this out, this is very, very preliminary. Um, so let's see, I'm going to go up a directory here, go to my blogs. Let's go to uh, this org file here. All right, so we can tab this out and we've got all this stuff and we've got all these headings here that I can tab and extend. So I wrote this blog. Now, if I want to export it to markdown mode, the thing I've added allows me to do that. So I do control C, control E, and then all I have to do is M, M to export it to Markdown. I'm going to quit out of that because I've already done that, but that creates a file. And if we go up, um, this is the file that was created. So we've got this nice table of contents here that I can take this. I can do control X H alt W to copy it. And then I can go and create a WordPress post 
and just paste all the markdown in and then you know, save the post, choose the category, the tags, put up a featured image and it's done. Okay. So I can pretty much write my post on, um, on, on Emacs and then put it up to WordPress. Uh, there's a couple to do's. So let me take a look at, uh, here you'll see to do's down here. So there's a package and it's called, uh, easy, uh, Emacs Jekyll, I think. And then easy Emacs Hugo. I may be wrong on that. I'll include a post on this distribution and developing distribution, uh, in the link in the, um, description below, but there are two of those. I haven't had a time to look at it. I haven't had a time to look at org to blog, but you know, if you can publish from org mode and go off to, you know, go off to WordPress or publish and go off to Jekyll, which is a static site generator or publish and go off to Hugo and you can manage them from Emacs. I think that's a good thing to have on a blogging platform. So again, just wanted to show this off. This is, uh, I've been writing, on my post, I'm up to about 50,000 words after two weeks on my blog. Um, I slowed down a little bit this last weekend because I was in Steamboat on a ski trip. But while I was not blogging, I was working on this distribution here. And I've gotten a book on writing Emacs Lisp, Lisp extensions. Um, so I'm going to learn some eLisp and write some of my own extensions and key bindings and functions that will go along with Bullshark Max uh, or Bullshark Emacs, whatever I end up calling it at the end. Uh, anyways, I thought that you might find this interesting. If you did like this video, please give it a like as we'll get out to more people. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I do a lot of tech videos where I go over Emacs, Vim, uh, coding, uh, all kinds of stuff, how to blog, how to create your own blog. Um, yeah, so hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.